Hi and welcome to our motorcycle tire guide. In this segment we are looking at tire load capacity, so how much weight each tire can take, uh, what that actually means for you and what it translates to on the road. So as we've said a million times already, we really want you to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for this. Your motorcycle will specify a tire of a certain load capacity, and if you get that exact load capacity, you're going to get the most out of your motorcycle's engineering. Now, if you don't do that, there are of course two options you can take. One is to get a tire with a load capacity that is less than is recommended by your manufacturer. That's always a bad idea, because if you load up your bike, you're just going to pop the tire because it can't take the weight. Now on the flip side of that is to get a tire with a load capacity that is greater than the manufacturer recommends. Now this one, this really isn't dangerous. If you want to get a tire with a load capacity that's, you know, one above or two above what the manufacturer recommends, that's not going to be harmful. Probably what you'll find is it'll add a little bit of rolling resistance, may add a little bit of stiffness that you don't really need. But again, that's not going to kill anybody. The thing to note with that though is that it's not going to increase the load capacity of your bike. Just because you get two tires that have, you know, one higher load capacity than the OEM recommends, doesn't mean that you can now add an extra 20 or 30 kilograms onto your motorcycle above what the motorcycle manufacturer recommends loading on that bike. And that's because uh, the OEM, you know, they take into account the suspension on your motorcycle, the engine power, uh, the weight distribution, you know, this all comes into play when they consider how you can load up your bike. So just increasing the capacity of your tires doesn't mean you can add more weight onto your motorcycle as a whole. So we really recommend that you would see a couple of seconds previously where we went into tire codes and decoding them. There we go into specifics on how you can read the load capacity on the side of your tire and what that means a little bit. But just to give you a quick and dirty breakdown here, the basics are in the alphanumeric system, you'll see something like load range B. That has to do with the ply rating, which only sort of tangentially relates to a load capacity. So ply rating has to do with stiffness. When you take into account the size and the inflation pressure on the tire, then you can understand how much weight it can take. But there's no real chart we can give you that relates load range B to a specific weight in kilograms that you can load on it. It's not really that simple. However, for the metric system and sometimes in the standard inch system, you will get a load index, so a number like 67 or something like that. And this one really is easy. There's a chart below this video that's gonna relate those load indexes to a real number in kilograms that that tire is rated to carry. However, with this, again, there are a few cautions we would throw at you. One is that the load index is measured at the maximum PSI for that tire. So a certain tire, say, would carry 250 kilograms, but it would only carry that when that tire is inflated to the maximum PSI of the tire. And of course, as we know, it's probably not the case that you're supposed to be running the tire at the maximum PSI. Probably the motorcycle manufacturer, again, in your owner's manual, will tell you to run it at a slightly lower pressure than that, depending on how much you've loaded your bike. So in real life situations, the load that the tires can actually carry on your motorcycle will be a little bit less than they appear in the chart below this video, because in real life situations, you're gonna be running those tires at a little bit less than their maximum PSI. The other thing we would tell you is to be aware of the weight distribution on your bike, because it's not 50-50, right? So it's not like you can add up the load capacity of the front tire plus the load capacity of the back tire, and that is the maximum weight that your motorcycle can be. That is not true because the motorcycle weight distribution, as I mentioned, is not 50-50. Especially if you're riding two up or if you have uh, side cases on the back of your bike, most of the weight's gonna be on that back tire, right? So you're gonna, uh, your motorcycle's gonna have to be a little bit lighter than load capacity rear tire plus load capacity front tire because most of that weight's gonna be geared towards the back. So again, we're getting down to this bottom line here, which is really simple. You wanna fit your tires uh, according to the OEM guidelines. You wanna meet uh, exactly the load capacity they say you should put on there, or one or two above that. And then once you do that, you wanna load up your bike according to the OEM guidelines for your motorcycle. So you wanna load up uh, your motorcycle depending on what it says in the owner's manual and not on what the load capacities of your tires are, because more goes into play uh, into what your bike can carry than just the tires that are on it. That's really it for this section on tire load capacity. We have a couple more sections coming up, so if you still have questions, keep watching, keep reading through our guides, call customer service here if you have a really weird question. They live for that kind of thing, they love to answer them. But for this section here, we're gonna close it off and I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching.